What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. How's everybody doing? I hope you're doing well. Yo, your boy D had some good time off over the break, chilling, seeing the fam. Uh, I'll be honest with you, though, I'm excited to get back to work. Ready to get out of the house. Kids are kind of driving me nuts, but uh, it's part of the holiday experience, isn't it? So today it's Sunday, it's Species Sunday, and I want to talk about what Plecos to get, and more importantly, what Plecos not to get. But first, here comes about a two to three minute rant about the Cleveland Browns. If you just want to fast forward into this video, we'll get to the fish here in a second. The Cleveland Browns play the Pittsburgh Steelers today. The NFL commissioner seems to always think it's great for the Browns to play the Steelers. That's like it's some sort of rivalry. It hasn't been a rivalry for many years. The Browns beat the Steelers once uh, last year or a couple years ago with Josh Hoyer, but haven't really done anything yet. The Steelers are going to come to the Browns stadium and they're going to destroy the Cleveland Browns. Then what's going to happen? Like the Browns do every year, they're going to get thumped at home and embarrass themselves and basically shit all over themselves. The Browns are going to lose. Then the owner of the Browns is going to fire the entire coaching staff. This happens every year. It's what the Browns do. They simply uh, have a bad season. They fire the coach. They start a whole new regime. We've been perennially bad for about 16 years. I'm not going to watch an entire play of the game today, but I just want to let you guys know that if you are a Browns fan and you are watching this in the small YouTube universe, I feel for you. And you can click the link here and see a video I did of this exact same topic two freaking years ago when they fired the coach at the end of the season when they played the Steelers. Go figure. Can you tell I'm fired up? Now let's talk about some fish. All right, it's Sunday, Species Sunday. Let's talk about some plecos. Now, first and foremost, folks, any pleco you get, plecosimus, the bottom feeder, the sucker fish, they are not an excuse for a lack of maintenance, okay? Let me grab the camera and show you guys what I'm doing. Plecos are not an excuse for a lack of maintenance. You can't have algae and say, oh, well, I'm just going to go get a pleco and that's going to make everything better. It ain't working like that, folks. You got to do the work. You got to get it dialed in, okay? You got to have your tank balanced. But algae eaters can do a little bit of good uh, in your aquarium, kind of keeping like a low level like maintenance, if you will, on the tank. So I want to show you some plecos that I've got right now and talk about some other ones. Plecos. Well, for starters, plecos need a little bit of wood content in their diet. I don't know exactly which type of wood that they need in their diet, but I know that they do need some. And you can see that this one right here, this is an ancestress. Don't ask me how to spell that. I got this from Chuck Brenner out in st louis and it is completely wicked and it is by far and away my play with but played with pleco my flavor my favorite pleco and uh, i absolutely love the pink color on it i've also got a calico variety and these have really been a nice uh turn on for me as i kind of roll back in here to get it for you all yeah so you can see he's kind of going to work on there in this tank i'll just back up and show you all in this tank right here the 220 so back out I have four tiny, about one inch ancestrous plecos like you saw. I've also got uh, a couple of long finned, I think they call them dragons or whatever. And then I've also got uh, one albino, which is not making an appearance right now. So yeah, these fish are in here. They do a decent job of keeping the driftwood clean, but they're certainly like not going to be able to keep up with a tank that you just never turn the lights off and overfeed. So let that be the thing. Now as far as species, I like ancestrous plecos. I like the um, rubber nose or, or bushy nose plecos, bristle nose plecos, if you will. Those don't seem to eat plants. Now, the problem is, is that people get these like small placosmus that are about this big at the pet store, and they turn into a foot long, uh, like, you know, tank destroying, poop eating, just, just mess of a thing. They do not belong in an aquarium. You can see the links at the end of this video uh, where I do talk about plecos in an aquarium and show you one of my dad's. Uh, plecos is huge. So yeah, those don't really belong in there. Also, you can see a picture here of how they actually eat them in Peru. You notice the egg sacs on the photo there. So I want to show you guys uh, this tank. So yeah, I did some work on the rocks and all that. Not really going to talk about that because I'm not done. I've got a lot of work to do on this side. This side, mm, kind of think I nailed it, but this side I've still got some work to do. So plecos that I like. I like the I like the ancestrous plecos. I like the bushy nose plecos. I like the uh, the rubber nose plecos. I like the siamensis. I also like the auto cyclus, but I don't think that they really pack a lot of punch because they're just simply too small. So uh, if I had to pick, I would definitely say get yourself some bushy nose, some rubber nose. Uh, those seem bulldog plecos is also what they're called. Those seem to do a good job. One pleco that I absolutely hate, and it's linked at the end of this video. My thoughts on this, along with my thoughts on the Browns two years ago, uh, is the Chinese algae eater. Sold as the Chinese algae eater. Terrible, terrible, mean, horrible fish. Uh, doesn't hardly eat any algae at all. Is sold as an algae eater. Sold for 99 cents. People get it and think that they're going to have a sweet fish. 
The fish is awful. They're mean. They're aggressive. They suck scales off of other people. I'm trying to get my ancestors here. There you go. They suck the scales off of uh, other fish and are just an awful. So definitely avoid those and avoid the big Picasmus. So there you go. There's a rant about plecos, rant about the browns. Click out the video I did uh, two years ago and see more about the plecos and the NFL <laughs> and the Cleveland Browns front office. Hope you had a great new year. Write down the goals you want to accomplish in 2016. Post them, look at them every chance you get and rewrite them once every two weeks. I got a lot of fun stuff coming for you uh, this year in 2016. Live events, going out to San Fran, going to be out in Denver again. Uh, more webinars, more videos. So if you like what I'm doing, subscribe. Make it an awesome week and tag on. Right.